Foods that shouldn't be refrigerated don't always fare well in the icy nooks of the fridge. In fact, some foods can lose their flavor, texture, and nutritional value when stored in cold temperatures. By understanding the optimal storage conditions for various foods, you can ensure they maintain their highest quality and flavor when it's time to indulge. With that being said, let's delve into 10 foods that are best kept out of the refrigerator. Number 1. Tomatoes. Tomatoes are best kept outside of the refrigerator to maintain their optimal flavor and texture. When tomatoes are refrigerated, their taste can become dull as the cold temperature affects their natural sugars. Additionally, the texture may suffer, often becoming mealy or mushy due to the breakdown of cell walls caused by the cold. Another factor to consider is the loss of aroma. Refrigerated tomatoes tend to lose their characteristic scent, which is a significant part of their flavor profile. Moreover, tomatoes are sensitive to ethylene gas, which is produced by certain fruits such as apples and bananas. Storing tomatoes in the fridge alongside these fruits can lead to quicker ripening and potential overripeness. For the best results, it is recommended to store tomatoes at room temperature, preferably on the counter in a single layer away from direct sunlight. If you want to slow down ripening, placing them in a paper bag can help contain ethylene gas. Once they reach peak ripeness, use them promptly to enjoy their full flavor and texture. Number 2. Onions. Storing onions in the refrigerator is a topic that often divides opinions among home cooks. Many argue that onions should not be kept in the fridge due to the risk of excess moisture causing them to become mushy or moldy. Additionally, there's the concern of onions absorbing odors from other foods. However, some find that refrigeration can actually extend the shelf life of onions, particularly in warmer climates. The cold temperature helps to slow down sprouting, which can be a common issue with onions left at room temperature for too long. If opting for the fridge, it's advisable to store them in a well-ventilated container or bag to maintain their freshness. Ultimately, the decision on where to store onions depends on personal preference and the specific conditions of one's kitchen. Number 3. Garlic. Garlic can be stored in the refrigerator, but it's not always necessary and can sometimes lead to changes in texture and flavor. The ideal storage for garlic is in a cool, dark place with good ventilation, such as a pantry or countertop. Storing garlic at room temperature helps it maintain its flavor and texture for longer periods. However, if you live in a hot and humid environment or if your garlic is starting to sprout, refrigeration can help extend its shelf life. Be mindful that refrigeration can sometimes cause garlic to become rubbery or lose its flavor more quickly. It's important to keep garlic away from moisture, as too much moisture can lead to molding or premature sprouting. If refrigerating garlic, place it in a paper bag or mesh bag to allow for air circulation. Additionally, store garlic away from direct sunlight to prevent sprouting and flavor loss. Pre-peeled garlic cloves can be stored in the refrigerator in a sealed container with a bit of oil to prevent drying out. Ultimately, the best storage method depends on your climate and usage. If you use garlic frequently, storing it in a cool, dark place with good ventilation is typically sufficient. However, for long-term storage or if your garlic is beginning to sprout, refrigeration can be a good option, keeping in mind the potential changes in texture and flavor. Number 4. Potatoes. Potatoes should not be stored in the refrigerator. When potatoes are exposed to cold temperatures, the starches in the potato will convert to sugars more quickly, changing the flavor and texture of the potato. Refrigerators are also more humid environments, which can cause potatoes to become soft and develop an undesirable texture. Additionally, storing potatoes in the fridge can lead to chilling injury, resulting in discoloration, odd flavors, and a tougher texture. It's best to store potatoes in a cool, dark, and well-ventilated place such as a pantry or cellar. Avoid storing them with onions, as onions can cause potatoes to sprout more quickly. If you need to store cut potatoes, place them in cold water and keep them in the refrigerator to prevent browning. However, for whole, uncut potatoes, keeping them outside the fridge is the recommended practice. Number 5. Avocados. Avocados are an interesting fruit when it comes to storage because it depends on their ripeness and how quickly you plan to use them. If you have unripe avocados that you want to ripen, it's best to leave them at room temperature. Placing them in a paper bag with a banana or apple can speed up the process due to the ethylene gas these fruits produce, which helps ripen the avocado faster. Once they are ripe, you can then move them to the refrigerator if you're not going to eat them right away. If your avocados are already ripe and you want to slow down the ripening process to make them last longer, you can store them in the refrigerator. This is especially useful if you bought too many ripe avocados or if you're not planning to eat them within the next day or two. If you've cut into an avocado and have leftovers, you should store the unused portion properly to prevent browning. Wrap the avocado tightly in plastic wrap or aluminum foil, ensuring the wrap is in direct contact with the exposed flesh to limit its exposure to air. Alternatively, you can store it in an airtight container. Place it in the refrigerator and use it within a day or two for best quality. 
In summary, refrigeration can be used to slow down the ripening process and extend the shelf life of ripe avocados, but it's not necessary if you plan to use them within a day or two of ripening. For unripe avocados, it's best to allow them to ripen at room temperature before refrigerating if needed. Number 6 Bananas It's important not to store bananas in the refrigerator for a few reasons. Firstly, refrigeration can change the texture of bananas, making the peel turn brown and the fruit inside become mushy. This happens because the cold temperatures break down the cell walls in the banana, altering its texture. Secondly, refrigeration can affect the flavor of bananas by reducing their natural sweetness. Additionally, bananas need room temperature to ripen properly, so placing them in the fridge, especially when they're green, will hinder the ripening process. Lastly, bananas are sensitive to ethylene gas, which is produced by some fruits like apples and tomatoes. Storing bananas in the fridge with ethylene-producing fruits can cause them to ripen too quickly and go bad. For optimal storage, it's best to keep bananas at room temperature on the counter. If you wish to slow down ripening, you can separate them and place them in different areas. If they're already ripe and you want to extend their life a bit, storing them in a cool, dark place is a better option than the refrigerator. Number 7. Bread. Storing bread in the refrigerator is not recommended for several reasons. Firstly, bread tends to go stale faster in the cold environment of the fridge. The starch in the bread recrystallizes quickly in low temperatures, causing it to harden. Secondly, refrigerators are dry places, and they can draw out the moisture from the bread, resulting in a dry and less appetizing loaf. Surprisingly, mold can also grow faster on bread stored in the refrigerator due to the cool and damp conditions. It's best to store bread at room temperature in a bread box, paper bag, or a plastic bread storage bag that's not completely sealed to allow for some airflow. For longer-term storage, freezing bread is a good option. Ensure it's well-wrapped to prevent freezer burn. When ready to eat, thaw at room temperature or briefly warm in the oven. Number 8. Honey. It is generally recommended not to store honey in the refrigerator. Honey contains natural preservatives that prevent it from spoiling, even at room temperature. When honey is kept in the refrigerator, it can become thick and crystallized, which some people find undesirable. Storing honey at room temperature helps prevent crystallization and maintains its smooth, pourable consistency. Additionally, honey has a long shelf life, lasting for years without spoiling. To preserve its delicate flavors and aromas, it's best to store honey in a cool, dry place away from direct sunlight, such as in a pantry or cupboard. If crystallization does occur, gently warming the honey in a warm water bath can return it to a liquid state. Number 9. Coffee. Storing coffee in the refrigerator is generally not recommended for several reasons. Firstly, refrigerators can be quite humid environments, which is not ideal for coffee beans or grounds. Moisture absorption can lead to a quicker deterioration of flavor. Additionally, coffee easily absorbs odors, and storing it in the fridge with strongly scented foods can alter its taste. When taken out of the fridge and exposed to warmer air, condensation can form on the beans or grounds, further affecting flavor and potentially leading to spoilage. Moreover, the temperature fluctuations that occur each time coffee is removed from the fridge can also impact its freshness. It is best to store coffee in a cool, dark, and dry place, such as a pantry or cupboard, in an airtight container. For long-term storage of larger quantities, freezing coffee in airtight bags is a better option than using the refrigerator for everyday storage. Number 10. Olive oil. Storing olive oil in the refrigerator is unnecessary and could even compromise its quality. Olive oil has a low freezing point, so it can solidify in the fridge, changing its texture. While this change doesn't harm the oil, it can be inconvenient for immediate use. Moreover, cold temperatures in the fridge may cause condensation inside the oil container, introducing water. Water in olive oil encourages the growth of bacteria and molds, which can jeopardize its freshness and flavor. Simply keeping olive oil in a cool, dark place is sufficient to maintain its quality. Refrigeration can also cause olive oil to become cloudy, but this isn't a sign of spoilage. The cloudiness disappears when the oil returns to room temperature. Additionally, cold temperatures may solidify any waxes present in the oil, but this is reversible and doesn't affect the quality. Olive oil's composition naturally discourages bacterial growth, making it resistant to spoilage at room temperature. The antioxidants and polyphenols in olive oil act as natural preservatives, ensuring its longevity without refrigeration. It's clear that not all foods thrive in the chilly environment of the fridge. Understanding where each item is best stored ensures they retain their flavor and nutritional value. From tomatoes on the countertop to honey in the pantry, proper storage enhances the quality of your food. So, embrace the right environment for each item, and your taste buds will thank you. If you found this information helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. Thanks for watching. Your wellness is our mission.